Okay, good day everyone. Today I want to continue my part 2 for the office environment configuration. Okay, previously, if I'm not mistaken, I have a sharing a one video that I'm talking about these devices. Okay, this uh, uh, temperature screening for for the access control. I'm also able to detect temperature. This is the mic. Next on it. Okay. We can detect the temperature also and already finished configure. But if you want to see more about this, you please check my previous video. Okay, so we check on here. Okay, before that, I have thought I have to do a roughly revise regarding this. Okay, this is the office environment. Now we thought I have a previous video. I have thought about the stranger and also their temperature screening and also the little bit of the configuration. Today, I want to talk about the time attendance, okay? So, we talk about time attendance. Time attendance, usually, we are referring to the IBMS 4200, which is the HIK software. Okay, but uh, currently, the software I'm running is version 3.3.1.8. This is the version of the IBMS 4200 software I'm currently I'm running on it. Okay, so we just double check on here. Okay, this uh, software, this is the uh, devices temperature screening. This is the uh, one of the device, so they're able to function properly. Do you see the admin that This is the thing over here. You will click on it. This is the admin status. She said the device is not armed. That means it's not connected to the IBMS 4200 yet. So we are now doing on this part. Okay, we do it on this part. So, we firstly, we are, I now I'm going to start my tutorial right now. Okay, first of all, we have to do one thing. Add device. This device have to add into the IBMS 4200. Okay, so the step I'm running like this. Going to the, going to a device management. Okay, under device management, do you see a device here? So, over here is empty because you I haven't add any device into yet. No. So go to the online device. Do you notice they have a bottom bar popping up? This popping up, this this boy below the bar have an IP on these devices. Okay, so the IP is not sent to my IP to my IP gateway. I have to modify it. So the way to modify it, do you notice? They in, into here have a modify network info. You click the modify network info. Change your IP address. You can change the IP address over here. Make sure you are keying your device password. Device password is very important. Please don't forget it. Okay, ready change. Do you see the IP already changed? Mm -hmm. So we are now going to adding this device into the IBMS 4200. Mm -hmm. So we click these devices, you add. So you just put your name. The name you can use for main entrance that are up to you. Okay, the password over here. Make sure you key in your device password. Synchronize time have to put you will synchronize the device time with the PC time. Okay. You see he's showing online. So we just double check on the on the on the device here. They have a showing the PC IP. Okay? So if that means it's really connected. So we're talking about we now continue about this setting. Okay, we double check on the group, make sure the group everything over here. It does it doesn't have you can create group by devices. You can create back your group by clicking here okay, and click okay. But now the group ready here, so there is nothing to do over here. So we now proceed to the other parts okay do you notice that person access control monitoring time and data under the access control okay this is the step we're doing okay so now we are doing person access control time maintenance we following the step we're going to the person person is running this get user data from the device that means the Pre previously the video this we uh, previous video have showing that how I create the user already so now I am going to use the device user data into the IBMS 4200 so I have to get user data from a device okay so over the person over here 
This you can edit it as a your organization name. Okay. So but but now I put a demo. Okay. Get from device. So select your device. Import. Okay, done. So if you want to change the name, you just double click on it. You show it your picture, your name. But now I want to put some little amendment because later you take a look. Okay, I put file demo. I click OK. Okay, the name is Richard. But the system haven't changed yet. So now we are going to upload the user, which is upload user data. Okay, so upload the user data, we turn off this. We're going to access control. Okay, you do you see they have a temper authorization here? We go to the authorization, you go to you go to the access group. Okay, you place at so this permission, this the name you have to put want to put what? So I just put permission A. Click the demo people, that means all the people into the list into the list and into the system and into the device. The device over here, click take and save. Okay, it's done ready, but haven't applied yet. We need to apply this. Take this, apply all to device. Okay, it's done ready, apply all. So you go into details. Do you see they have uh, the thing ready apply? Okay, so there are nothing to do over here. The user data already finished download to the device. So we come, we take a look. They already changed the name to my name is Fight Demo already. Okay? Okay, so over here, there's nothing to do over here, so we close it. Now we are going to the time attendance setting and also the report. So I will talk about the time attendance. So I have a time attendance task over here, which is what time? 9 to 6. Office start open 8 o'clock. Late 5 minutes, early leave 1 minute. Monday to Friday. Okay. Okay, we go into time attendance. Okay, you make sure Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is untake because this is a general rule. Saturday, Sunday are not working. Not working. So we're going to a timetable. Okay, I'm working time is 9 to 6, so it's correct already. But I open on the eight, so I have to make sure before eight had to seven have to people to access into a system. So I put seven thirty. This I put to twelve thirty. Uh, twelve time. Twelve zero one, and until two three five nine because I can category all the user already recorded. Okay. Late five minute early leave one minute. Why? Because no people are allowed to leave early. Okay, this I put five minutes and this I put one minute. Okay, so we save it. Okay, timetable for daily already done. So we're going to the shift. Okay, do you see shift that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? That is correct. But if you want to do the more, you want to change something like you can change over here or you want to clear everything, you want to put. But for, for my task here, I Monday to Friday. So we save it. Okay, I'm done ready. Then you're going to the shift schedule. Because who going to the follow the shift is a shift schedule. Okay, currently only one person, but I want to show you how we select the department to, to apply to the all the user. Make sure you place the department schedule. Click the department. Okay, so over here, do you see they have a date? You, Make sure because something like permanent staff you work for around two or three years, correct or not? So currently I am the setting from the first April into two zero two five because some people can work for long. Okay. So correct the time. I click save. Okay, the time already done. So we now for the time maintenance setting is finished. Okay. So now we how to operating this system. That means how to generate the report. We're going to the attendance estate. 
attendance record. Okay, for this is how we get the transaction log from the from the device. So we can select the time because sometimes your PC are shut down but the device are running. So we need to manually get to ensure all data are already transferred to the system. Okay, you select the first of the month, end of the month. Okay, event from report. Okay, event from the device. Create your devices. Okay. He will get all the data from the devices to the IBM 4200. Make sure after synchronization complete, you click the search. So all the log will be sent into the system. <coughs> okay, come to the here. After the transition log already finished, upload the system, you need to do the calculation. If not, the report doesn't show up. So select, you click the calculation, select the time. Select the time, you calculate it. Of course, you will be absent because I only have a several day transition over here. Something like here. First in, last out. But this is all the time are uh, not in the uh, working time. So, usually late and normal. You see, 9.15, I out. 9.15, I in. Uh, 6.50, I out. So, all the time, this is time is correct. But sorry, this is I haven't do for the transition log. But usually, he will check in and check out, come out on the list. Okay? After that, we go into the report. The report here, do you see that I have a money report? You can click the money, select the person. Okay, but this day I have to set on the start date. Okay, do you see this is exactly the report? And this is the first in, last out day. Not only here can show up, you can go in. This is the report on how we generate the report. Okay, and another thing, you can check the access record. The access record you can select uh, example 25 to 29 for today. You can see there are how many the transaction they have are trying to access. Like this uh, two times, this uh, several times. You can know how the how this guy is going to access this store for how many times. You can check over here or you on just only want to get the first in last out access. Also available. Okay. Example I put first until 29. They will show you show you here as well. So it depends what report you need. Okay, I think until right here, there's nothing to talk about. So this is how we how the time attendance and how the report generating. Okay, thank you. And like and subscribe. Thank you.